our chief guest, Honorable Minister of Food and Environment, Your Excellencies, the Ambassador Present, distinguished conference delegates, colleagues from Macquarie University, ladies and gentlemen, I do recognize each one of you present. It's a great pleasure for me, and indeed, great pride for Macquarie University to welcome you to the 11th Committee Based Adaptation International Conference. You are most welcome. Allow me to welcome in a special way the, our chief guest, the Minister of Water and Environment. Sir, you are most welcome. Allow me to thank the International Institute for Environment and Development based in the UK and the International Centre on Climate Change and Development based in the Independent University of Bangladesh for not only organising the CPA conferences but also for choosing the Government of Uganda and its partnering institutions to host the 11th CPA conference. We do, we do not take this opportunity for granted. And we sincerely thank you for recognizing Macquarie University's efforts to address climate change through research and participation in workshops of similar magnitude. The theme of the conference, Harnessing Natural Resources and the Ecosystem for Adaptation, is in line with the global development agenda agreed on by world leaders to build resilient societies. The global development agenda, as implied in the sustainable development goals, is geared at transforming society. The conference theme focuses on empowering communities to use their own knowledge and decision-making processes to take action on climate change. One of the six most important drivers of a, trans of a transformed society is a knowledge economy. It's gratifying that sustainable development goals have included education broadly as a proven vehicle for sustainability. As academic institutions, we are committed to adapt our training to address these issues related to sustainability. Ladies and gentlemen, we all appreciate that effective adaptation to climate change takes place at community level. A bottom-up approach to adaptation enables local knowledge and practices to be shared among communities, academics, and the project managers so that those most exposed to the impacts of climate change are better able to adapt. The vision of Macquarie University is to be the leading institution of academic excellency and innovation in Africa and our core functions are teaching and learning, research and innovations, as well as knowledge transfer partnerships and the networking. This conference is therefore in line with Makere's vision and core functions, and we are privileged to be part of it. I'm happy to report that in 2012, 2012, in 2012 the Makere University Center for Climate Research and Innovations was launched in the College of Agricultural and Environment Sciences to strengthen East African resilience and climate change adaptation capacity through training, research, and policy implement interventions. Through Macquarie University Center for Climate Research and Innovations, the university has brought together researchers and scientists from within and outside Macquarie, government officials, civil society, and the private sector actors to collaboratively and locally address climate change, share information, and the problem solve on adaptation technologies and research. We are also using the Macquarie University Center for Climate Research and Innovations as a vehicle to improve and support undergraduate, graduate diploma, and postgraduate education in climate science, meteorology, and the climate adaptation and the mitigation. Sir, through you, through you, our chief guest, I would like to thank the government of Uganda for the support towards this conference. I thank also the authors who submitted papers, the conference, and in a special way, I'd like to take the opportunity to appreciate the keynote speakers for making the necessary preparations to be with us during this conference. This conference would not have been possible without the support of our, support, our sponsors. With FAO, IEDEU, Ministry of Water and Environment, Accra, IMWI, to mention but a few. I 
Congress. Thank you, all of you. Last but not least, I would like to thank the National Organizing Committee for the great effort you have put in to ensure that the conference is successful. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we welcome you to the 11th Community Based Adaptation International Conference. It's my sincere hope that we have a fruitful conference for the good of mankind and for the good of our communities. I do thank you very much.